Am I in focus? Am I in focus? I think I'm in focus. Oh my god, I'm so scared but so excited at the same time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I cannot believe I am saying that. It's the weirdest feeling sitting here and actually finally filming a video. It's been such a long time coming. I've wanted to make a YouTube channel for so long, for years. And you, you know, everyone has their own insecurities and everyone puts things off, maybe not everyone, but I certainly do. You know, I've put it off for so long for all sorts of reasons. You know, is YouTube already oversaturated? There are so many influencers and bloggers and people making beauty videos and lifestyle videos. And it's one of those things where you think, am I gonna be good enough? Am I interesting enough? Are people gonna want to watch my videos? I don't wanna be boring. And I just think with the year that we've had, I mean, 2020 was probably the worst year of everyone's lives. If we've learned anything this year, it's that life is too short. Clearly, you know, you never know what's around the corner. And if not today, then when? We have nothing else to do. I have no more excuses to give myself. And I just think it's the perfect time to finally bite the bullet and do something that I've wanted to do for a really, really long time. So I'm finally doing it. And I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited, but I'm really nervous. I hope the lighting's okay. I hope the sound's okay. I can actually see myself in the viewfinder. So I can see I'm in frame. So that's a start. I hope everything looks and sounds okay. Obviously it's my first video, so please bear with me. Um, but I am actually going to be filming a get ready with me today. Now I know there's nowhere to go, literally nowhere to go apart from Tesco's. But it's actually my birthday today. I turned 24, which is a really good age, I think. I feel mature, I feel like a grown woman. So different from 23. It's gonna be a very different one to usual. I'm usually the kind of girl that loves to go out on my birthday multiple times. I usually milk it for the entire week. But it's still my birthday and I still deserve to feel good. And I'm gonna make the most of this birthday. I will probably never get another one like this. I mean, it's definitely gonna be one to remember. So before we get started, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I would love for you to give this video a like and a comment. That would be absolutely amazing. It would make my birthday. That can be your birthday present to me. And without further ado, I think we should get started. So I like to do my hair first. Um, personally, I find hair very boring. Um, I pretty much always have the same hairstyle. I like it down and I like it curly or at least loose curls. Um, and I also like it that when I finish my makeup, I'm finished. Um, it's like the finished product. I can see what it looks like, hair, makeup, and everything all together. Um, I always feel that when my makeup's done but my hair's not, I just feel really ugly and I just feel like it just doesn't look right. And then if I do my hair afterwards, I just look at myself like, that makeup did not help. The curlers I use, in case anyone is interested, you're probably not, um, I use the Babyliss. List. I don't even know what these are called. I'll link them down below because I bought them off Amazon. I love this curler. I've used this curler for literally about six, seven years. They have lasted me the whole time. They've never broken, never had to buy a new one. It gets very, very hot. This goes up to 210 degrees. Um, so I really don't even need to hold it on my hair that long. I literally wrap it round, hold it for like five seconds and let go and it's already curly. It was from Amazon, I know that. And it was very cheap. It was not expensive at all. I think it was like 25 pounds or something. Um, but it's amazing, it's lasted me and I've never wanted to get a different, a different one. I, to me, it's great. Um, I don't think anyone cares. Let's start. Um, so the first thing I do is I prime my face. I don't always do it. I'm quite guilty of not always priming or moisturizing for that matter. Terrible human being. Um, sometimes I just can't be bothered, especially if I'm like going to work. I really just do it quickly. I can't be bothered, but I am gonna do it now because I have time and it's my birthday. So I am going to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. So I bought this not that long ago from Space NK and the pump just didn't work. Like I bought it and straight away, oh. Scrap what I just said, clearly the pump does work. I've used this so many times and tried to use the pump and it hasn't come out. I've had to unscrew the silver top. Now I just look really stupid. Moving on, um, so I just literally rub it between my fingers and I literally just do quite, I do quite a generous amount to be honest. Um, I don't even know if this is like classified as a primer. 
Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I know it's a base, um, but I don't know if it has like primer qualities. But all I know is that it's really, really glowy, as you can see. I mean, literally, I'm a disco ball, um, and I love how it feels on my skin. It's kind of like a doesn't sound nice, but it's like a greasy feeling. But I love that feeling um, for a primer. I like it when it feels quite wet and quite greasy. Um, and I love it when it has shimmer in it because I feel like it really makes all my makeup just glow. So I'm going to use two foundations. Um, I'm going to use one. It's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid um, in the shade NC40. And it is a good-ish colour match. Um, I like the tone of it and I think it's a it is a relatively good match. But I think it might be a little dark because my tan has faded. I did my tan a couple of days ago. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of like a slightly paler foundation that I have, which is the Bourjois Healthy Mix. Um, but I think that should be, should be hopefully, a really good colour match. So I used to only apply foundation with a beauty blender, with one of these. Um, but I've really gone off it. I feel like it absorbs all my makeup. So half the product is wasted in the sponge because it's just soaked in. So now I use a brush. I've just changed my mind um, as to what I like. So I now use this brush. Sorry, it's a bit dirty. I used it yesterday. Um, but it's the Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. So I'm just going to pump some of this onto my hand. Just the back of my hand. Like so. Mix it together and I'm literally just going to go for it. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good colour match, um, I would say. Pretty happy with that. Well done, Carly. A star. I really just like to get in there. I just do the middle of my face first. I feel like my forehead needs a whole, more, a whole other two pumps. Like, I'm not joking. I have the biggest forehead. And all my friends are like, no, you don't. You literally don't have a big forehead. I have a big forehead. Like, I'm sorry. My forehead takes up three quarters of my face, like 100%. So I feel like I need extra foundation just for my forehead. So I'm gonna finish my face. Don't forget to go under my neck a little bit, just to blend in. Okay, so done that. Let's do another two pumps just for my forehead, big old forehead. I like to go into my hairline, but I also don't like to get it in my hair because it looks like you've got gray hair. So I'm just trying to do it really carefully. Um, obviously I've put these idiotic clips in my hair. Okay, I think we're good to go. So I think it's a really, really beautiful foundation. I think it's really got a beautiful texture. Um, it, I feel like it makes my skin look pretty flawless um, and I don't have perfect skin in the slightest. Definitely don't have a smooth skin um, in my opinion. Um, I always get three lovely frown lines on my forehead. You, I don't even know if you can see. If you look, there you go, look. That's not smooth. But I can't get rid of them. Like, no matter what I do with my foundation, I just can't get rid of them. Um, maybe one day I'll get Botox. Who knows? So, that's done. The next thing I go in with is my concealer. Um, I don't get the hype about concealers. I have had bad concealers. Um, like, concealers really don't work. But on the whole, every concealer I try pretty much does the same thing, whether it's high-end or like a high street brand. For example, I tried the NARS Creamy Concealer, and I now and today I'm using the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. I think they're exactly the same. Like, I, I personally don't see a difference. Maybe I'm wrong. I think they do exactly the same thing. Um, maybe I don't have particularly dark under eyes, so maybe it's just because I don't have dark under eyes, so there's not a huge amount to cover. Um, nor do I usually get um, any breakouts or spots. Quite lucky in that way. Um, but on the whole, I just find that they do exactly the same thing. So, I'm just going to pop some of this under my eyes. Just like that. And I will do a little bit of my forehead and you'll laugh. <laughs> Because it's a bit ridiculous, but when I do my forehead, I, I try like not to move it because otherwise I feel like the concealer goes into the wrinkles on my forehead and it just makes it ten times worse. So I try and like I try and like keep my forehead very still when I'm doing it. Like literally like and um yeah to blend it in I now I do use my beauty blender because I find that it's the only thing that will blend it without making it crease or without giving me like little makeup um what do you even call it like when it looks a bit grainy um, so I prefer to just use a beauty blender. To me, it does the best job. Still got 
forehead wrinkles, but what can a girl do? I've got forehead wrinkles. Then I take my Laura Mercier uh, translucent setting powder, um, which I love. To me, it's an undefeated powder. I have tried others and I haven't been as impressed. I'm sure there are loads of others, but I just, I'm used to it and it's what I like. So I just tip, tip some of the powder into the lid and I just use another brush. So this is the Morphe M438. It's just a tapered brush. Um, I use that to go under my eyes. And then obviously I'll just do a bit on my forehead because, oh my God, the wrinkles. This camera is extremely flattering. Do not believe everything you see. Trust me, I'm looking in my mirror and I definitely have forehead wrinkles. I wish you could see them. But it's not the end of the world. So once we've done that, then I'm going to just quickly powder my face. This, this powder, I honestly do not understand how this doesn't get more hot. I know that a lot of people love it, but I don't hear as many people talking about this as they should. there should be. This powder is the best thing I've ever used. It's so good. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in uh, the shade two, medium. Um, and I'm just gonna take it on a nice big fluffy brush. It's just a Real Techniques powder brush. Um, and I'm just gonna really gently just pack it on. And I like to press it in. I don't like to like swirl or swirl. I just like tap it, just tap it in really nicely. Okay, I think it's time I give myself some eyebrows because um, I just can't look at this anymore. So, for eyebrows, I use the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil. Again, with brow pencils. Some are not good, I will admit, and they're not all good, but on the whole, every brow pencil I've tried has been pretty good. Um, I haven't been disappointed. Um, to me, I've tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills Micro Brow Pencil. Um, I've tried the MAC one. I've tried pomades, um, all different kinds of pencils. I don't love pomades anymore. I think when I first got into makeup, I used to love a really sculpted, like sharp brow. Whereas now I like them definitely to look more natural. I still like them really fluffy and quite dark, but not as sculpted and like shaped out with concealer. Um, and my color is the shade Ash Brown. Um, it's actually a little bit lighter than my brow color, which I like. Some people don't, um, but I think that when I do my brows in the same colour as my brows, they end up very dark um, and I don't think that's a very good look for me anyway. So I'm literally just going to spoolie my eyebrows up. They're so long at the moment, obviously because of lockdown, I haven't been able to get my eyebrows done. So if you look really closely, look how many eyebrow hairs I have. Oh my god, I have so many eyebrow hairs. It's a joke. So anyway, <laughs> um, I like to brush my eyebrow hairs up with the spoolie and I like to, this is just how I do it, it's not how everyone does it. I start from underneath, so, and I don't draw lines like this, I just flick them upwards. So I like to just start at the edge, I, I always start at the tip, um, and I give them some length, Just I just feel like they need a little bit of length. And I literally go underneath, I just want to, like this, and just, like that and just get the underneath to kind of be in line. So I literally go underneath the eyebrow and just along underneath and just give it kind, not a sharp line, but just so it looks nice and neat. And then when I get to the, okay, this is the bit where I think a lot of people go wrong and a lot of my friends, any of my friends who I've done their makeup, they love how I do their eyebrows. It's like the main thing they say to me. So I'm literally really gently with a really light hand, I just flick up here. I just literally flick like that. See? And then literally I just spool it out. Oh, I've got a bit of a gap. Let's fill in that. Fill in the gap. Bit better. Um, and then if you use the spoolie, it will just soften it a little bit. Brush it all up, and then when that's done, I brush it down. Then can you see, there's obviously, it's not very neat there. I can obviously see that I've got gaps. So I brush the hairs down, and then I literally fill in the gaps. Let me just move this here. Just like that, so I just fill them in so that 
I personally just like them neat. I think that's enough. So now it's kind of more one line. And then again, just brush them up, fluff them out a bit. So I think on the whole, I would say that looks like a pretty natural brow. Not natural, let's be honest, but not too overly done. So I know they still look quite dark, but obviously I am a, a dark haired girl. I have very, very dark hair um, and my eyebrow hairs are very dark. So it's gonna look a bit strange because I have no eye makeup on, so I look like an alien. Um, but I promise they won't look that dark once I put my eye makeup on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow. This eyebrow's way worse, if you can see. It's got way more gaps, way, 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 way more gaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. I'll speed it up and then I'll continue with the next step. Okay, so the eyebrows are now done and they are hopefully relatively even. So the next thing I do after I've done my eyebrows is I go ahead and do my eyeshadow. Um, I mean, usually I don't wear eyeshadow, but if I'm going out, obviously I will. Um, so I'm going to use um, a bit of a dark horse, and um, not a lot of people talk about it. Um, the Violet Voss Laura Lee palette. I've had this for years, um, really for years. Um, I don't think anyone uses this ever. Um, I'm probably gonna do a mixture of this palette and the, so dirty, I'm really sorry, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna use a mixture of the two. So I'm gonna start off with these two shades. I'm just gonna literally mix them, tap them in together. And literally, I'm just going to really sloppily, it doesn't have to be anything neat, because it's just our base. I'm just going to blend that in to my eye. Do exactly the same on the other eye. So, once I've done that, then I'm gonna, gonna go in with a slightly darker kind of ready brown. Um, and I'm literally just going to put that just on the crease um, with the same brush, just kind of the outer edge, just here. Like so. So obviously I've done the, um, the kind of base colour of my eyes. I know it looks absolutely ridiculous now, but I promise it is all in good time. All in good time. Trust the process. I'm actually going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette now. I think it's time to bring her out. Um, so this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Absolute holy grail. So many people have this. Probably most people have this. Um, so I'm going to take um, the darker brown. So this one over here. Any dark brown is fine. I'm just gonna dip it in. I just wanna make this a little bit more dark, a little bit more smoky. So, I am going to just darken up the outer edge with this brown. You can just already see, it just does make that, look at the difference, you know? Makes such a big difference. So I'm going to just blend that in really gently. I'm still using the same brushes I did before. Like, is that, I have not, I'm not making it complicated. I'm not gonna use like 10,000 brushes. Um, I'm literally just gonna use maybe two or three brushes. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna smoke that out a bit. I think that looks, that's enough, I think. Um, and then do exactly the same thing on the other side. So this is the Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader, um, number 234. Um, and this is, to me, if I didn't have this brush, I couldn't, I literally couldn't finish any of my makeup looks. Um, I really couldn't, I need it. So I'm gonna go in with that same brown, the same dark brown color I used previously. And I'm literally just going to go right under the lash line. Smoke it out. something like that and do the exact same thing on the other side so it's something like that and then I just like it really smoky I just love a smoky eye especially if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be taking photos which obviously I will today because it's my birthday birthday photo shoot um so anyway and then I go back to the sh the brush I used before the same fluffy one with the same makeup still on it um, and I'm literally just going to tap it in um, the light, the first lighter shade that I used, again. The same one that I used in the beginning. And I'm literally going to like, 
really messily like smoke out my under eye so literally like this like don't be scared so i like to really smoke it out so it will look something like that so nice so smoky and pretty and i think do the same with the other eye so i'm just going to take this some really pretty shimmery shades in my palette in the first palette that i um showed you and so i'm going to use like a mixture of the two i'm just going to literally with my finger i just find that with these shimmery shades they just look so much better when you put them on with your finger um good old-fashioned way so literally i'm just going to press that onto my eye just really gently oh, i just think that's so much prettier don't you just a little bit look i feel like it really brightened up my eyelid so i'm going to do the exact same on the other eye Look how much nicer that looks. Just put a little bit on the tear duct. Yeah, much, much nicer. Um, and literally, I'm just going to blend it just a little bit more, just so it blends into the shimmer. It's literally a tiny bit. There we go. Now the eyes are pretty much done. Obviously, I haven't done mascara and I haven't put on lashes. Um, I will show you what I'm using, but I'm going to do it off camera because everyone knows how to put mascara on and lashes are really boring to put on on camera. I personally don't want to watch that and I don't think you do either. Um, so my mascara at the minute, you will not believe, is from Primark. I used to really hate on Primark makeup. I couldn't believe that it would be any good. It's amazing. I bought three different mascaras from Primark in the last few months when it was open and all of them have been good. The one I'm using right now is the silver one. Um, it's called Wonder Lash. And then the lashes I'm going to use are the Holy Grail for me, Ardell Demi Wispies. So many people know about them, so many people love them, um, and for good reason. They are such a beautiful lash. Um, they are that perfect balance between not looking overdone, but still having more than your usual lash. Um, and I think that is a winner for me to be honest so i'm gonna use these i'm gonna put them on off camera um, or i'll speed this up and then we'll continue when i finish so i've just done my mascara and i just want to show you how good it is this is one layer this is literally one layer of that mascara i just think it's so good and it's just not no one speaks about it so i'm speaking about it now i think this mascara is absolutely wicked i love it Okay, my lashes are now on um whilst i wait for my lashes to dry and because as you can see there's a little bit of white still a little bit of the glue just drying there it will dry clear and um, once i'm waiting for those to dry i will just finish just the face so um i'm going to be putting on some bronzer um i'm going to be using the mac mineralized skin finish in this shade dark um it looks like this so I'm literally going to put it on this tapered brush from um, Morphe. It's the G35 from Morphe. And I'm literally just going to... It's really hard doing your makeup with one hand. You don't realise. I honestly, I feel like I didn't think about that when I was, when I thought this would be easy. <laughs> No, I didn't think it'd be easy, actually, I knew it'd be really difficult. So it gives me some really nice cheekbones, gives me some colour, which I always need. Um, I'm going to put a little bit just on my chin and my jawline. And then I'm going to put some on my big schnoz. Um, so I'm literally just going to go down the edges of my nose. Give it a nice... Just down, right down the side. Underneath, but not in the middle. Just underneath. Same on the other side. Just down the bridge. No, it's not down the bridge. Down the side. And just like that, under... Let's give it the illusion of a little bit more of a narrow shape. It definitely doesn't have a narrow shape. My nose has the opposite of a narrow point. 
definitely doesn't have, I mean, from the side it's not bad, but in the front you can definitely see, obviously it's not pointy, it's not a thin nose by any means. I'm just gonna use this palette, which was actually given to me um, by one of my best friends for my birthday last year. Um, this is the MAC Hyper Real Glow uh, palette. It's very dirty, sorry. Um, I use it literally every day. And it has these three shades in. I and mean, I just kind of use all three. I mean, it really doesn't matter. They're all pretty much the same. And I'm literally just gonna go down right in the center. Can you see it? I'm just gonna do a really thin, gentle dot. Like just really gentle. And then I'm literally just gonna go up the bridge of my nose. I just feel like it makes it look a little bit narrower, don't you think? I feel like it definitely makes a difference. It definitely makes it seem more narrow, I think. Maybe it doesn't and I just look stupid like I've got a big blob at the end of my nose, but I like it. And then literally I'm just gonna put a little bit in my brows because I just think it looks so pretty. Just a little bit. I've kind of gone off highlight on my cheeks. Um, I will do a little bit, but I don't always do it. I have gone off it a bit, um, but I am gonna do a little bit. So we're nearly finished with the face. Um, now I'm just going to use the Kevin Aquan blush in the shade Ariana. Um, it looks like this. Um, so I'm literally just going to swirl my brush in it. Again, this is a Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm just going to, put, oh, the sunlight's coming in. Ooh, look at that glow, girl. I'm um, just gonna put some blush. Just give a little bit of color to my face. And then the final step to complete the look, I know what you're all thinking, the girl has no lips. Correct, I don't. So for my lips, uh, we'll start with lip liner. I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. I'm obsessed with this color, but I'm also obsessed with all of her lip cheats. That woman can do no wrong in my eyes. She is just insane. So, and literally, I'll come a bit closer. Literally it's gonna go under my lip line. Sorry, you really shouldn't talk whilst you're trying to do this. It's impossible. So I'm just going under the lip line. So. Like so. I'm going to take actually a lipstick I was uh, given for my birthday from one of my friends, um, which is the Pillow Talk lipstick. Oh my god, it's stunning. Oh my god. Charlotte Tilbury just doesn't mess around. When I first saw it, I actually had a feeling it might be too pink. Um, but oh my god, it's the most beautiful shade. So to finish off this look, it's the final touch. I'm just gonna put on some lip gloss. Um, and again, this is a product I got for my birthday from one of my friends. Um, and it's again, Charlotte Tilbury, and it's the Charlotte Tilbury um, lip gloss in the shade Opal Magic. Oh. I'm in love. So, so nice. I love that lip color. Okay, and then, for the final touch, let's take out this ridiculous hair. So I've just taken my hair down. This is what it looks like. However, um, this is how I have my hair 95% of the time. I always have it down. Um, it's pretty, you know, it's just a pretty average hairdo. So I think I'm going to put it up because it's my birthday and I can. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take out, I never have my hair ever like pulled back ever I, as i said i have a big forehead or at least i think it's big and i think it looks awful i don't think it suits my my face at all or the shape of my face um so i always have little bits down so i'm gonna take just a little section maybe a bit smaller than that it's gonna take one section down and same on the other side i'm literally just halving my hair I like putting a scrunchie because I feel like the scrunchie gives it a little bit of height, um, which I personally like. I'm just gonna pull it out. And there we go. I think that's I think that's my final look. I think it's really cute. I know it's a bit extra, it's a bit much. I'm not going anywhere. 
It doesn't matter if I'm not going anywhere, it's for myself. I want to feel nice on my birthday. If you stayed from the beginning until the end of this video, thank you so much. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. I really tried my best, but please bear with me. This is so alien to me. It's my first video I've ever done. I've never spoken in front of a camera before, um, so it takes a lot of getting used to. But overall, I hope it went well, and I hope that you enjoyed watching. I really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, leave me a like, and if you want to drop me a comment, that would be even better. I um, would love to hear what you guys have to say, what you guys think of my look, or if you just want to say happy birthday, wouldn't say no to that either. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!